How's it going guys? Welcome to another episode of Sticky TV and today I'm going to be sort of doing a video of what's on my Android as far as my home screen goes, what widgets I'm using, what wallpaper I'm using and stuff like that. So first of all I want to say thank you all for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed go ahead and subscribe and hit that little notification bell so you know when my next video has uh, uploaded. So anyways let's go ahead and jump down into it. Uh, for my home screen I'm using Nova Launcher and they recently had an update to include the uh, search bar in the dock down below now this is nova launcher beta you can sign up for that pretty easily and they update the um, the launcher pretty frequently and it's awesome because you get it before everybody else and it's a really nice feature i've been using action launcher but i found that it has been a little bit laggy sometimes as far as stuttering if you go in your search bar in the dock you can do above the icons or below the icons. Uh, I've been using Overlauncher for years, as far as I can remember, and it's still my go-to launcher uh, for my Android devices. So go ahead and check that out. The latest update puts the search bar down below. For my weather widget and time widget, I'm using Today Weather. This app is awesome. It gives you a whole bunch of different information as far as your weather. Uh, the whole app looks black, just amazing for our type of screens, AMOLED, OLED the screens. Um, all the widgets you could have uh, to choose from are excellent. This weather I've been using for about a year now. These are all the different types of widgets you could put on there, forecast. Uh, that's the widget I got on it now, just the weather. You could have the stock ones for the app. There's a whole bunch of different widgets you could have on there looks great it's clean gives you a whole bunch of information and I've been using that for a while and then I am loving it for my calendar widget I'm using month calendar and I've been using this for about a year as well and you can download this off the Play Store and there are plenty of themes to go along with it as far as Google type themes black your material type some with some cartoony landscapes on there there's a whole bunch of different types of themes you could choose from and this weather i mean sorry this calendar widget is awesome it's clean it looks great it gives you a whole bunch of information and it's really a good theme like i said i'll post it down below for the uh the app and as far as over here on this page i got my music page which i'm using black player ex and this player this music player is amazing the audio quality is awesome uh, the ui is all black it just looks great on our type of screens um it works great it feels great the widgets you have different types of widgets you can choose from uh, the only gripe i have about this is if you delete something from your music library and you have shuffle going on in your music player once it comes to that song it'll sort of just stop playing you got to restart the app in order to re update the uh, library but when you're adding music to your to your music folder it reads it just fine it's just i don't know just some little flaw but i can live with it it's an excellent music player and you can purchase this off the play store as well and of course at the bottom i got my google play music uh widgets and if you haven't checked out google play music you subscribe you get youtube red as a free thing on a side thing and youtube red is awesome you don't get no ads it's pretty cool it's pretty cheap a month and you get a wide variety of music to choose from um, as far as my keyboard goes I'm using Swift key and I have a black theme going on here so it sort of matches with the uh, nav bar excellent keyboard uh, the prediction is awesome swipe is awesome It's just an awesome keyboard I was using Gboard for a while but I went ahead and switched back to Swift key it's just excellent as far as it, it bringing up the next word you're gonna type and as far as the themes go it's an excellent keyboard Check that out if you haven't used Swift Key before. As far as my wallpaper goes, I'm using the wallpapers from the Google Pixel and Google Pixel 2 uh, XL. And there's plenty of them to choose from. As you can see, you got a road with some cars going down. You got a whole bunch of different types of wallpapers to choose from. The one I have now is the Earth one. At nighttime, it, it'll sort of light up within the cities as far as lights go. It's pretty cool. I've enjoyed this. Works flawlessly. I haven't had any battery drain or anything. 
uh, this was ported on over check out my other video that I did about installing it and you'll see how to get this on your phone um, let's see what else as far as my theme goes I'm using um, pixel black theme from the Play Store and this theme is awesome it makes everything blue and black it just looks amazing as far as uh, the theme goes it's an awesome theme especially for our types of displays it just looks awesome puts everything blue your slider bar everything is just really really nice and it saves on battery it's excellent on battery actually and you can get this off the theme store for about um, 149 and this guy I've been using his theme since the v20 days he does really good themes he updates them he updates them pretty frequently and everything so that is my theme that I'm using for my LG V30 um, other than that guys thank you guys for watching I uh, hope you enjoyed the video if you got any questions post them down below um, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one peace